Folks, if you're here, the rate update. If you haven't heard the term non-QM yet, you will, because it's going to play a big role in 2022. So don't go away. We're going to talk about that next. Okay, back in 2005, 6, 7, 8, and everything, when the world basically imploded, uh, a thing such as the Dodd-Frank bill was uh, put in place. And that bill regulated a lot of the mortgage business, okay? So those out there that don't fit the guidelines, the specific guidelines, and they're, they're basically like this, it's a box. If you don't fit in that box, you don't get a mortgage, okay? Well, those times are starting to open up now. Right. So which is the new creation of non QM mortgages. Now, don't misinterpret those as subprime or just completely junk loans. There's a good place in this in the economy for what we call non QM loans. So let's go over those briefly. For example, if you don't have a 620 credit score, you can't get approved for a conventional loan. 619. No. OK, period. If you have a 50.0001 debt ratio, can't get a conventional loan, just doesn't work, okay? So a lot of those caveats are stopping millions of people from maybe buying a house, maybe refinancing a house, and so forth. Thus, the creation of non-QM. So let's get into the definitions of non-QM, and then I wanna show you some good news on programs that are opening up that we have access to. So in looking up non-QM, what, what basically is it? So let's go, what is a non-QM mortgage? Thanks to the balance. So uh, a non-QM loan is one that doesn't adhere to the lending standards set out by the Dodd-Frank Act. These regulations were issued in 2014 to ensure borrowers have the ability to repay their loans and to prevent a repeat of the subprime mortgage crisis of the Great Recession. Okay, non-QM loans aren't eligible for purchase by Fa uh, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, nor do they come with government backed like FHA and VA loans, uh, loans do. As a result, they present higher risk and typically come with higher interest rates. Okay, that's all good. And I agree with all of that stuff, but there are millions of people that just don't qualify for mortgages for some reason or another. Now, again, don't say these are bad loans. The reason being, why these are coming into existence is their common sense loans. I'll put it that way. But the good news or the backdrop a lot of this stuff is they don't go to 100% of the house's value, nor 125% like loans used to do back in the pre-recession ages. Okay, so that's the context of these, these loan programs. So when I go over the programs, you might say, hey, that fits in my wheelhouse. So let's go over the programs. So here's just a snippet of some, of some of the programs that are available in today's world. So let's start right at the top left up here, and you're going to see the DSCR with no ratio. Basically what that is, is we call it the debt service uh, cover ratio. It's a loan for investors. So basically it's saying this, as long as the property cash flows, you should be okay. Meaning, let's say, for example, let me, let me give you the, the backdrop of that. If the mortgage payment, including everything in that mortgage payment, the principal, the interest, taxes, insurance, PMI, any other things associated with that property, those create the, the complete mortgage payment, okay? So now as long as the rent from the building covers that, you should be okay, okay? So that's debt servicing. So that's how that works. Let's get on to the next one. The next one is 1099 only income and VOEs. So these are for specific areas where let's say you're commissioned or other areas uh, that it's really difficult in today's world to get qualified for a mortgage because of all the stuff involved in your self-employed or your 1099. That's what basically that means you're a sub, uh, you're paid as a contractor. When you're in, that, in those areas, you have a lot of tax deductions that aren't really like money that you're paying out. For example, one of the biggest things that people have is depreciation, okay? So when you depreciate a property, for example, let's say you bought a rental property and you get, went to your accountant and then they came back and said, oh, you can depreciate that building $10,000. So that means automatically $10,000 gets wiped away from the revenue of that property. Well, it's not actually a check that you're writing. It's just a line item uh, element in your the tax codes. 
So those people usually have a very difficult time getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Well, these are programs to kind of circumvent those. It's not giving bad loans. It's not doing anything wrong. It's not doing anything deceptive. It's basically allowing you to uh, use the real monies that you collect to qualify for a mortgage. Okay, so that's that. The other area that we focus on here is the foreign nationals. Believe it or not, there's a lot more foreign nationals than you think. Okay, so if you're a foreign national out there and you, you have been trying to get a mortgage, you know, give us a call. We'd love to help you. Uh, the next thing is ITINs. Now, ITINs, I'm in Chicago. It's a big market here, a huge market. Okay, if you're if you have an ITIN, you can now get qualified for a mortgage. And these are the guidelines behind that. So I'll just post this here and I'm going to go through it and I'll just keep it there for a second. But let's go through just the backdrop of some of these guidelines. So the debt servicing with is the no, no ratio program. You can go up to 80% loan to value. Okay, loan to value is basically the loan amount of the property or the, the loan amount on the, of the loan divided by the value of the property. That's how you get the LTV. So you can go 80% LTV if you're purchasing or doing a rate and term uh, of, on a property, okay? Otherwise, you're at 75% if you wanna cash out, pull cash out of your rental property. Minimum credit score is 640. The loans go up to 5 million. Can you get a gift funds? Yes, you can. And there's no, the big thing here, there's no maximum on the number of finance properties you can get. We actually have a client right now that has 27 properties. God bless them, they're all free and clear that they're looking to pull out some cash to increase their holdings in the real estate environment, plus maybe pull out some cash uh, for a rainy day. 1099 income right here. Uh, you only need the 1099 to qualify. You can go up to 90% loan to value with a 660 credit score, up to $5 million. The VOE program is qualified for borrowers with only a VOE. You can go 80% financing, purchase rate and term, or 75% uh, 70 loan to value if you're looking to cash out. First time home buyers are okay also, up to 70% loan to value. Maximum loans, 5 million, credit score is 620. For nationals, you don't have to, for non-U.S. citizens, up to 75% loan to value on purchases in rate and terms, up to 70% on cash outs. It can be used on investments and second homes as well. $3 million loan limit, and you don't need a no U.S. credentials credit requirement. Okay, so if you're a member or you're somebody from another country or whatever, um, we, we'll work with you on that one. Then the debt servicing piece. Let me go through this with you real quick for the, the uh, specifics on that. It is DSCR, debt service cover ratio for investors. It's good for one through four family properties and condos. 85% LTV on the purchase and rate and term, or you can go 75% if you're looking to cash out. 620 minimum credit score. No, or gift funds are allowed. And again, on this one, no limit on the number of finance properties. And then we get to the I-10 program. The I-10 is no W-2 or pay stubs, okay? We'll work with you on that. Up to 85% loan to value for cash out and uh, purchases. 620 minimum credit score, loans amount uh, up to $1.5 million. So those are all the guidelines that are coming in that we do have access to now. So if you fit any of these areas, please reach out to us. So to find out more, check us out at therateupdate.com. You can then give us a call at 844-775-5626 or schedule a meeting. If you're, you know, let's say you get home late at night and you just were not here, schedule a meeting. We'd love to talk to you. Otherwise, just click the apply now button and you're on your way. And then we can answer any and all questions you have after you submit your loan. Because once you do that, we'll be reaching out to you to answer any and all questions that you have. So thanks for, so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell every time we post a video. You get alert. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.